Hey, this is Ryan with Agri Spray Drones. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to do the logs and the QR codes for things such as our repair forms. So first things first, you must have your remote and your drone. Your remote must be synced with your drone and both must be turned on in order for this to work. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to go into at the top of your screen on your main, main page. You have a piece of paper with a little wrench icon. You're going to tack that. And then you're going to go into General Issues. General Issues is going to show all of your logs. And the biggest thing to keep in mind here is every time you turn the drone on and off, it creates a new log. So don't create too many logs. Don't turn drone on and off too many times. It will eventually get rid of your, your log that you want to actually upload. So for us, you're going to select three at a time three at a time to create one single QR code. Now, if you want to select more than one QR code, you got to do three, upload, three, upload, and so on. There's two ways you can do this. You can hit save to local and upload log. Save to local is going to allow you to do it without internet, so you're out in the field. And you hit save to local, it'll save it to the remote itself. When you get internet, you're going to go into upload log and upload it with your internet. So, first thing we're just going to do is save to local. We're just going to select one for the sake of this video. So, we're going to hit save to local. It's going to process it, and then it's going to save it to the hard drive of this remote. So, we're going to go out. We're at the top of the screen. It says save to local. We're going to tap on that. Now, we have our log that we just saved to local. It's going to be called general issues. It's an automatic naming base. Next, you're going to hit upload log at the bottom. This is going to upload your log. Keep in mind, you got to have internet. For this, it's going to upload your log and it's going to pop up with a QR code. This is the way that you're again that you're going to be uploading the logs. And the biggest thing, most important thing to keep in mind, whenever you get that QR code, you need to take the clearest picture you possibly can of that QR code. If it's blurred in any way, DJI can't read it. That's what they use to determine your warranty, whether it's good or not, as well as help diagnose other issues for different cases that we submit. So thanks for watching this. Hopefully that helps a lot of you all. Uh, give us a call, text, email, whatever. Any questions? See you next time.